All right, in this experiment we're going to have a look at what happens when HHO is ignited. Does it expand or does it contract? This can play a big part in understanding how an engine can run off HHO. A simple little setup, our 24 volt transformer, our full wave bridge rectifier, smoothing cap, so that we get a relatively smooth DC, our HHO cell, our liquid holder, and in this case we're using pure water, there is no electrolyte in it, so uh, this is why we've lifted the voltage up so high. So from the top of this setup, I must um, say once again this setup is from Daryl. He sent it over to me, built it himself, and um, it is a very nice unit. And he donated this and all of the tubing and the container you can see, along with some KOH um, to me, so I could dive into the HHO experience. Right, so we've got that part of it. We're going to be pumping our gas down into this large U-shaped tube. This is just a uh, flexible, clear PVC tube. Um, we have formed a U-shape, as you can see, and we have teed off here, and this is where our gas will be entering. Because we have the water above our gas entry, both this tube here full of water and this tube here full of water will be acting as our bubbler flashback arrester on the top we have a spark plug clamped in there and that is to ignite our HHO our ignition sim uh, circuit for the spark plug is very simple it is a microwave oven transformer and that is it we simply come out of the high voltage side of the transformer across the ground and our input pin on the spark plug. I just have a little switch here which I push to make it go. It is switched on at the moment. As you can see if I push the button, a very nice spark. So an extremely simple ignition system for any HHO testing you're going to do. What we're going to do is put a couple of bubbles of gas in there um, now the gas that's in there at the moment, I'm assuming, would be carbon dioxide, as we have already burnt or fired it up a couple of times, and any oxygen that was in there, of course, is depleted. But uh, for the test, we will undo the clamp on the spark plug, let it bubble for quite some time. It will push any air out of there and completely fill that small space there between the water and the plug with HHO. We'll then push the button and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to set the camera up on a tripod and I'll keep filming in high definition. You can slow it down as I'm going to and see what happens when we push the go button. Alright so we're ready to go. I'm going to switch the uh, cell on and we're going to put a few bubbles into our chamber just like so. You will notice the water is probably 20 mil down below that line. We now hit our ignition button and there we go. Give it a couple of more bubbles. Our ignition button, and there we go. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to undo this clamp, we're going to bleed out any air so as the whole system has pure HHO in it. Get the cell run for a while. Like I said, we're using plain water, no electrolyte. That is distilled water. And we 
we're not making a lot of gas because we're not using a lot of power at the moment. So what's happening now is the HHO is pushing any ambient air or whatever it was in there after um, we set off the HHO. It's pushing it all out. ignition button. Now you can see that was a much sharper crack, um, a whole lot quicker, and that is because we purged the line and it was only HHO in there. But if you're watching slow motion, I'm pretty sure the same time we have our ignition, you'll see the water go down and then come back up. This also means that if we are to run an engine on HHO, as you can see we're doing nothing but putting a bit of gas in there with what was left after it's burnt and once again we get an explosion this means that the exhaust uh, could be returned straight back into the inlet of an internal combustion engine when running purely on HHO Now without taking any fresh air or oxygen or anything into that chamber, we can do this over and over and over again. And if we took this as the exhaust gas, we can clearly see that that could be quite easily returned back into the motor and the motor would run quite well. So uh, the spark plug is not getting wet, which means it's not sucking the water back up to the spark plug. And I think in slow motion you'll clearly see that every time we fire it, we'll leave the HHO running. Really. You can see every time we fire it. It pulls the water down. It doesn't draw the water up. So this clearly shows that there is a large expansion before there is any contraction of the gases when using HHO. So uh, we can actually use this setup our next experiment and uh, that will come a little later on something very interesting um, about what happens around a explosion when HHO is ignited. Cheers guys!